Now, Horan is heading in a new direction after years with, wait for it, One Direction. We catch up with the Irish crooner in today's Entertainment City. What, nothing? Really? Nothing, guys? Thanks. My style is just uh, I, what I grew up on and all I know, really, about music. Well, he knows it well. Niall Horan is making a name for himself with a solo career after six years as part of one of the biggest boy bands in the world, One Direction. No, they don't teach you this in school. He tells TK about venturing out on his own. How liberating is it now to go off and do your own thing and just express yourself as Niall? Yeah, it's great. You know, I, I listen to... One Direction stuff now, and when I hear these songs, I like I can hear my own flavors in it. But you know, then there's everyone else's flavors on top. So yeah. this time, it's been able to write something that is just natural to me. Was it terrifying for you at all in the beginning to to know that you were going to go off and do your own thing, and your other brothers were doing their own thing, and yeah. all kind of at the same time too? So was there friendly competition? If we were releasing the same types of music, then it probably would be competitive, yeah, I would imagine. Uh, but we're not. <laughs> it's completely different stuff, so it's kind of everyone, there's room for us all, it's great. And everyone's doing well. Everything comes back to you. This town is one of my favorite songs of all time ever in the existence of music. I have to say, it's so beautiful. That's probably about the best compliments I've ever had. Well, we can't wait to hear that new album come out. When when can we? I'm hoping October, November time. What are some of the stories and themes that will be explored on this album? What can we look forward to? Uh, I don't want to give too much away. Come on! Oh, you know, just We're buddies now. Come a on. lot of it is like I would say very personal, but I'm 23, so it's, it's probably not that deep to a lot of people. <laughs> Maybe only 23, but Niall's got years of experience in the spotlight, and that has one young musician in particular seeking his advice. His Canuck pal, Sean Mendes. Oh, I love Sean. Oh my God. He's the man. He keeps saying to me, I'm so new to this. So what kind of advice did you offer him? I don't know, I just think he, get, he, he gets really nervous a lot. Does he? He's 18 years old, we all forget. Just because he's six foot five and he looks like <laughs> Michael Phelps, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> you know, he's not 18. Meanwhile, we discovered some other wisdom now can impart the art of the fidget spinner. I can do it on my head, I think. <laughs> From an Irish musician with big love for Canadian singers to a celebration of Canuck music talent, the 2017 SOCAN Awards. The gala celebrates songwriters and composers and draws a who's who of Canadian music. It's always sort of funny to get reminded when someone's like, hey, you, you're doing some stuff, but it's all right. It's like, oh, hold <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Anytime I get to go somewhere where they're honoring songwriters, I'm like always really excited. This year, Brian Adams and Jim Valance were honored with Lifetime Achievement Awards for songwriting, while Andy Kim was handed a Cultural Impact Award for his 1969 hit, Sugar Sugar. Mm, sugar, sugar. It's just a wonderful feeling to be here, you know, for a song that has lasted the test of time. Hey, coming up tomorrow, we're talking to Transformers actor Santiago Corbera about the last night.